calling in. Ladies and gentlemen, is this the first of all I have to ask, is this the real Scott77? Is this not a troll? It's me. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to welcome from Ohio, ladies and gentlemen, live from Ohio, Scott777. Thank you for calling in. The question is that people want to know, uh, as we know, um, the Battlecam uh, uh, Battle RV meeting Bish was rocky. It was not a bed of roses, and I think Scott will agree with that. It was a very rocky situation, and it got a little stressed out. And, of course, you were a little stressed out as well over the situation. And, but luckily, fortunately, things are kind of going well at this point, at least in my opinion. You, could, you might have a different opinion. But basically, the BCRV crew, as we speak right now, are inside Bish's apartment, which at one time you were, de you were denied by Bish herself or, and, and her mother, supposedly, from entering the doors of that. Now, from what I understand, you have been invited, and even at one point in time, the Battlecam RV was almost willing to drive back to Dayton, Ohio, to come meet you, even. Um, I would like to know, and Battlecam would like to know, what are your feelings about them meeting Bish? We want to know what's your personal opinion about the meeting with Bish, and do you, are you upset about it? Are you happy that it happened? Are, are you still done with Bish? Have you forgiven Bish? And, and we want to know what your feelings are. Go ahead, Scott. You have the floor. Basically, I was, I was really upset. It all started, uh, <clears throat> I think it was, I think that, didn't they come over there? It was Saturday or Friday they showed up. But basically what happened was I was told in the chat, by, I seen Bish type that she said that Scott can't come over because of her mom. And basically, I think a long time ago, me and her mom kind of, I think her mom saw some stuff I typed in the chat a long time ago. Plus, I banned, I think, her mom out of her channel one time. So her mom didn't, you know, her mom was kind of mad at me, I think, for some of those reasons. But basically, what I was really hurt because Bish, you know, said, you know, Bish has had all these people over her house from people that, carry big guns and and all these crazy guys that she's had in and out of her house and all these crazy situations and then all of a sudden you know her mom says I, I can't come over her house you know it singles me out of all of these crazies and and says that I can't come out and I was really upset you know and I thought this this was pretty ridiculous so basically basically I was I was hurt for a couple days before they even met. I mean, I was I was really really upset. Then finally they they go over there and I'm still asking, I'm still trying to find out if I can if there's any chance I can come over because they went to a hotel room. And BTF said said something to Bish and Bish says no. No way. B BTF says there's no way. So so then about 1:30 in the morning Bish uh, shows up and and she says, "Oh, where's Scott?" <laughs> One thirty in the morning on a Saturday night when I'm about, you know, I'm, you know, I'm thinking about going to bed. And, and so she, cha she changed her mind at like one thirty in the morning of that same night where you were declined. She changed yeah, her mind. And, and I was so upset about the whole thing. I'd already started drinking because I was so pissed off. I mean, yeah, you, you just don't know how pissed off I was. No, okay. So let me explain to our viewers how pissed off you were because I witnessed this. <clears throat> you went out with what you only had rent money at that time enough money to pay your rent and you took some of your rent money cash and you went out and bought liquor and then you bought two whoppers from burger king is that correct scott yeah i was, I was so pissed off i'm like fuck this shit i'm whoops okay. are we on tv yeah we're on tv i'm sorry <laughs> i okay. was like I, I was basically like you know i, I mean i was i was I never drink. I never get drunk. I've only been drunk like once in my life, and that was because Bish and Mariana talked me into it one night. But, you know, I thought, you know, maybe, maybe I'll get drunk again, because I was really hurt and bad. So I thought, I'm going to go out and get some alcohol. This is one of the rare occasions, because I was so, you just don't know how upset I was, because this is a big deal with Battle Cam coming to, coming up this area. I mean, it was a super big deal, and I, I had Saturday set, set aside where I could meet them, and 
and it all got canceled. And I was really upset, you know, because I, I always wanted to meet Bish. You know, I, I drove up to Bish's house one time and almost met her. It's because Bish is almost like a mini celebrity to me. I mean, some people, I mean, she's been on Battle Camp for so long, she's like a celebrity to me. So it was a big deal to me, this whole thing. And when I got shut out of it, because I, 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 was, I was really upset. I understand, understand. So you felt you were really hurt and upset that this this lady you've supported, you've, you've supported her in many ways, and we're not just talking emotionally. You've supported her um, a little bit financially. You've given her gifts and stuff. Am I, am I correct? I, I bought her pizza twice when she was hungry. Yeah. So, I mean, and that's nice. I mean, that wasn't a big deal, but that's nice of you because, you know, you're not a rich man. You, you don't have a ton of money to your name. And you, you, you bought her pizza, you know? And sometimes, you know, we remember the stories where you would eat rotten food because you couldn't afford fresh food for a certain amount of time when you were living in your foreclosed house. So we, 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 we know that that's a big deal. That was very kind of you um, to, to, to get that pizza for. And she suddenly comes up with this excuse saying her mom says that, you know, you can't go near her. And I can see why you're offended. I, I, I can absolutely see. I, I take your side on that. I can see why absolutely you're offended by that. And, and so now, now she changes her mind, but it's at some ridiculous hour in the morning. It's like. Yeah, and I've been drinking, too, on top of it. Yeah, and you, 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 you're, you're, you're a good guy. You don't drink. I was so guys. pissed off. I wouldn't have went anyway. I was, so, I was so pissed off. Yeah. You were, you at were, that point, I, mean, I was so pissed off. It was unreal. Yeah. So, so I mean, in, you know, you weren't in a good mood, and then she changed her mind. So now they've they've been as as Bish and the Battle Cam RV at this point. Keep in mind, not only was this was Scott and Bish on rocky ground at that time, but actually um, Bish started drinking. I believe the same night. Am I correct? I think it was the same night. No, no, I think that was the next night. The next night. night. I'm sorry. Maybe I got the confused. The, the next night. And Sunday night. It was Sunday she night. She didn't have sleep for a long period of time. Correct. So she, went she, kind of she had no sleep. So she had no sleep. Plus, she was drinking vodka. If I was correct, she was drinking vodka, and it drove she, her. She had no, yeah. She had no sleep for a long period of time too. I yeah. Mean. And so, so what happened was, is that she missed. There was a misunderstanding of BTF saying that God doesn't love you, bitch. And he was actually completing a sentence that was, God doesn't love you because you don't love yourself. And she was so mad at BTF. She was so mad and basically told him to get out. Pack your, pack your crap in that RV that you have parked outside my, my apartment. Get out. And, um, and they did. And she pointed the camera. She got up pointed the webcam out of her window and you could watch the BCRV drive away. And it was so cruel. The misunderstanding was so cruel. And I just said, you know, I, I actually made a comment on my on the Dave Live TV Facebook and I talked about that. I said, you know what? I kind of, I feel bad for Scott right now. And I'm going to tell you why. Here are people on the BCRV trying to be friends and I felt she pushed him away. She pushed him away just like she pushed you away. Just like she treated you. Here they are outside of her door. Outside of her door, just like you were outside of her door at one night. And they put, she pushed him away. She was totally cool, but misread something and totally went off off the rocker and you're giving her the benefit of the doubt you're saying she was tired this is what you know she was overreacting because she hasn't had any sleep she was drinking a lot and and you give her a lot of slack but i said you know what i called bish out on that i said take responsibility for your actions here are people that care about you and you threw them out you threw them out so i'm gonna tell you i'm gonna tell you you know I felt bad for you, Scott, and I said, "You know what, Bish? You need to give you need to give Scott a chance. You need to give Scott a chance." And and at this point, you know, I can see why why at, at a moment's notice she could change her mind. So the good news is, Scott, what do you feel 
that this BCRV trip might be a turning point in Bish's life? No. <clears throat> I don't see it as a turning point. I'm going to feel kind of sorry for her when everybody's gone and and uh, all of a sudden she's back to you know being all alone. I, I think it's not good for someone like her age to be alone all the time. You know, I, I think that's some of her problem as far as you know being on battle cam all the time. But so I, I don't see you know I, I don't see any big turning point or anything. You you do you think it was a a positive thing for the BCRV crew to show up or a negative thing? Uh, it's always a positive thing to come in contact with people and she almost got thrown in jail though because of Joe once again, Joe, Joe once again almost caused some problems it was very close that I mean when they got caught trespassing at the church you know if she would have went to jail and she really I mean they would have really threw the book at her you know so that you know of course that was she, she just has to be very careful hanging around with Joe I mean it's kind of a Kind of a crazy uh, thing for her. Yeah, I mean, I, I can I I can understand um, that you know uh, we just you know Ruin just explained you know what happened with Ruin and Joe right so oh yeah oh yeah so, of course yeah, so you could see that got pretty extreme. My experience with Joe didn't get near that bad, even though he tried to push me uh, to my limit by humping my leg in a restaurant. Um, but, but nonetheless, you know, Joe, that's the kind of thing that Joe does. Um, but I, I, can, I can see now that, you know, it looks like um, Bish actually is getting along with Joe pretty well at this point. Don't you agree? I haven't been watching the last too, too heavy the last few days because I, I, I get, I'm just kind of stressed from the whole thing and it, it put me behind. And it, Okay, I'm getting please, feedback from. No problem. Uh, please mute whoever joined the call. Please mute the show. Go ahead. Continue, good. Scott. I was going to say too, uh, Scott. There's a, a bunch of people in chat are saying to ask about CJ. What what is it that everybody is talking about? You and CJ. Oh, that's just CJ keeps banning me on the BTS channel. First, first uh, Lukey was banning me on the channel, then CJ was banning me on the channel, and I, and I don't even type anything in the channel. They were just banning me just to screw with me, so I couldn't watch Bish because they thought it was funny, basically. Yeah. So Pimp and Gimp wants me. Thank you, thank you, Pimp and Gimp for saying terrible interview questions. Pimp and Gimp, terrible limbs lacking on your body. That's my response. <laughs> so, so, so anyway, I'm gonna still ask uh, uh, Pimp and Gimp's question. Um, um, Pimp and Gimp, you, you said you disavowed, um, you, you disavowed uh, Bish from ever coming back into your life. Have you forgiven her? Have you changed your mind? Oh, you said Pimp and Gimp, you mean me? No, yeah, yeah you. The question, it was Pimp and Gimp's question toward you. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, what happened was later on uh, the next day, was when, was when everything started breaking down on Sunday night. That's when Bish's mom finally called, and she said, is Scott there? And that's really when, when the whole evening started to turn on Sunday night, because she did go nuts. So when that happened, I thought, you know, I thought, you know, maybe Bish was right about this whole thing. You know, I was, I was hurt, you know, because I wasn't invited, and I thought this was really a big deal. But when that happened, you know, that her mom actually called, and went kind of nuts and and then called again and, and almost was about ready to call the police because they, she thought that BTF was so sick that, that they were kind of like hiding somebody that needed to go to the hospital. She was ready to call the police on on to have them come out there and see if BTF was as sick as what she thought because she's a nurse, you know, she thinks, I guess she knows it all. But after I seen the way she reacted there, I thought, well, maybe you know, maybe maybe I'm just taking all this too personal that that I got shut down and, and Bish is right. You know, maybe maybe I'm just not being mature enough about this whole thing and just being hurt. And she she wasn't being selfish, but she was just stating the fact that that that's what would happen. And she was right. Her her mom her mom is a crazy nut. I mean, her mom you know did 
call. So after that happened, I, I, I just had to admit that I was in the wrong. That I, it was just what it, it is, what it was. That you know she doesn't like me, and and she would, and that's when the night started to break down. When Bish started going crazy after her mom twice called her back, that's when she started really getting down, and that's when everything turned on BTF now because she didn't have sleep and everything else, and she'd been drinking and. She'd been up for, you know, 36, 48 hours, however long she stays up, when everybody else had sleep, and that's when she kind of went nuts. And her mom was the one that kind of started her down that path, really. So, so on the right side of your screen right now on this Skype is the live feed from Bish's room right now. I hope you can see that. That's the live feed right now. And I believe that is her um, sleeping... Um, it looks like Joe. It looks like Joe and her are, are sleeping possibly on the, the uh, same uh, mattress. Um, how does that make you feel, Scott? And the, everybody, thinks that, you know, everybody thinks that I'm like, like Bish was like someone that I was like in love with, with and all this stuff. I had, I had some feelings for Kayla because I've watched her for two and a half years, but... I, I, that makes me happy. I'm, I'm glad that she has people over her house. I'm glad that she's got uh, company. None of that stuff bothers me. You know, everybody thinks that stuff like that bothers me, but I'm, I'm glad for her. I'm glad she's got people over there. Yeah, well, good. I'm glad. I think, and, and you're glad. It, it, you're not bothered. You're, there's no jealousy. There's no anything. You're glad to see that she has friends, and you 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 do not wish to be in Joe's shoes right now being within inches of Bish's body. No, I'm I'm getting I've been hurt too many times by Kayla for whatever reason, you know, like for example what she did to BTF and the the guys that one she's done that to me quite a few times, like turns on me out of the blue. And I'm just I don't know, I'm just getting kind of just where I'm just hurt I keep getting hurt by her and and, and I don't even consider you know, we've just been friends, and, and but if, if you care about someone and you're just friends, it still hurts, you know. So I'm kind of like, kind of over it, you know. Yeah. You think, so, you think it could be that you take this too seriously, man? I've, I've been on battle camp probably more than anybody. I was, I'm ranked number two. I've, I've spent more time with these people than probably some people spend with their wives and their family. So yeah, I've I've formed deeper relationships than, you know, and know more about these people than anybody probably on the site. So in a sense, that yeah, I did make this my family, and if you want to call that as more serious, well, I just call it as more. I've met, I did close, got closer to these people than other people have. So it's more personal to me. But but you you you've come close to battle cam, but not necessarily as close as Joe is sleeping to Bish right now. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've never met anybody yet on from battle cam. I mean, I could meet these people, but you know, because of my situation right now, I'm going I'm going through a really desperate situation right now financially, and I'm really I really have to get. Serious on some of the things I got going on from bankruptcy. I got to file to, you know, making my rent, to making my cable bill, to making all this stuff, to hunt another job, to fly for food stamps. I mean, I got so many things on the list that I was going to get done, and I was I was in perfect position to get a lot of stuff done. And it seems like every time it happens, something uh, upsets me or, or gets me down. And it doesn't take much with my physical, you know, my, my physical limitations that I still have. I'm still struggling with. No, well, I think I think personally, right now, you're taking this very well. I I'll be honest. I mean, as we said, that was a live shot of you know of Bish asleep with with Joe on the same mattress and the Battle Cam RV crew very nearby, and you have not got to that point yet. You and Bish have had this somewhat personal relationship. And it's gotten a little rocky. And I, th I expected you to kind of rage. And you're taking it like a champ. And that's fantastic. It seems like you truly are um, happy to see that she has friends um, that are willing to be close to her, that are willing to sleep on the same mattress with her. And, and you're willing and, and then willing to, uh, you know, and show you and, and let you into that world at least 
um, you know, via battle cam. And would you, would you, uh, would you like to be, do you still, I know you have, uh, you've made it clear that you have other things on your agenda that are important in your life that you need to take care of. But do you, are you willing to give Bish really that chance again? Are you, are you really, you know, if the agenda wasn't there, would you still consider it? As far as what, meeting her? Yeah, meeting her. Well, sure, sure. I'm always, yeah, sure, I'd be up for that. But, but like I said, her mom is, hasn't changed. That situation's not going to change. Okay. So I'm, I'm just kind of done but, with but the whole she, thing. But didn't she invite you? Even, my, forget the mother, didn't she invite you eventually? Like at one thirty in the morning that next night? I don't. I thought you were invited, like from Bish. I even uh, after. I had after a really was, bad day Sunday. I was. I didn't feel. I felt like so bad. Then I had things I. I. I didn't get done. I mean, I was upset. You understand? I was upset for like three days over this, and it just shut down everything. I mean, I just totally shut me down. And Saturday was a total shutdown. I just. So, and I can't. I. I'm at a point where I can't lose no more time uh, fooling around with stuff in battle cam. It, it's kind of come to a brink where I'm almost ready to quit battle cam. Do it. <laughs> so, okay. so, so anyway, Pedo. You, you you can you can ignore litigator. <laughs> ignore litigator. Don't worry about him. He's, so, he's mad because I kicked him out of the channel. Yeah, that that's okay. That's okay. Don't ignore him. For one it, minute, I kicked him out of one minute because that night that Bish was going crazy, he kept spamming in the chat, "Call nine one one, Kayla. Call nine one one." He yeah, he, yeah, he yeah. Almost had, he almost had her convinced to call one nine one one. Yes, all yes, she needed, sure. when all she needed was a little bit of sleep. No, oh, she and she sleep and she's sky. fine the next morning. I've watched this girl she more than telling, anybody. She kept saying, "Litigator, help me. Litigator, help me." No, get she was saying Skype. help you when you were talking wait, to her. Wait, wait, wait. Get on Skype, litigator. Get, and I said, listen, I'm not the one to help you. You need professional help. Call 911 and tell me you need help. Don't come to me about it. Pretty much it. Then you got, then, then you got so sad because I was talking crap. I was, telling, I was telling your granddaughter to call 911 to get help, and you get angry at me. I, th I just didn't want to see her get in any trouble. She almost got thrown in jail once. The last thing she needs is, is the cops coming out to her house one <laughs> time from battle cam. She's had the cops out to her house more than anybody, and you were trying to instigate that in some degree, and I, I stopped it. No, she, she, you know what? She needs to be in a... I don't care what you think she needs or whatever. Oh, you love her like this because you love her like this because no, I don't. No, I don't. You, yeah, you do. Oh, you. Love I'm just her like tired of the cops coming out there from battle camp, and you don't give a shit about her. Absolutely. If I, why would I tell her to? Call, why would I tell her to call for help and not to contact because me? Because it's entertaining for you. No, she keeps. She even keeps sending me sp Skype messages to this day, <clears throat> and I don't want to talk to her. She needs professional help. I'm not the one to help her. And you're an enabler. That's all you want to do. And really, uh, there's a rumor around that you met Bish for five thousand dollars and hooked up with her. You're saying that's not not true. That is absolutely not true. That's absolutely false. I don't. I don't. She said why would, why, she let me tell you, that you but met I, her I, I, about, I, I, about, I, I, about people, a year and a half ago for five thousand dollars. Why would I? Out of all the people, why I, Bish though? I mean, I, come on, bro. If you're gonna pay five exactly. Gs, pick somebody better. Because he's a rich guy <laughs> that can get whatever he wants. I'm not a rich guy. But let, oh, let me. Yeah. Uh, you were gonna spot. You were gonna hook me up. You were gonna yes. fly me out the. To, I, was um, fly, I was gonna fly Kame out to you. But you, you had no, to, no, no. Hold on, hold on. You're gonna be a jerk. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You gotta ban me because let I was talking talk. to your granddaughter about going to uh, call listen, him. Listen, this is what you were gonna do. You felt sorry for me about this whole thing because I didn't meet Bish. So you were gonna fly me out to some place in California or someplace, and you were gonna hook me up and say that I'd have sex every night. You would have. Yeah. Now, how much do you think that would have cost you? <laughs> that, that Fly would've, me out there and to have sex with I would have. I would have took you to my. He's cousin's not trolling yet. He really wants to know. <laughs> I would. I would have taken you to my cousin's strip club, and you could have hung out with all those little young strippers, and you could have played grandpa over there in real life instead of on battle cam. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You're that so, wouldn't have cost. That wouldn't have cost a couple thousand. You wouldn't have dropped a. That couple. wouldn't have cost me any money. That wouldn't have cost me anyway. Fly cost me, me out there. What? How much would that would have cost? Okay, by the probably. Self. I don't know. Southwest three hundred and fifty round trip. I'm not sure. But then I was. Then then you said no. I'd rather have Kame come see me. No, no, that's because I'm friends with Kame. I'd, I'd rather hang out with a friend than fuck w women that I don't know all week long. 
So you'd rather hang out with, let's say if Dave Live was your really close friend, you'd rather hang out with Dave Live than have sex with women all night long. No, I... <laughs> no, I like... I mean, there's nothing wrong you said, with... That. You said <laughs> hang out with friends. You said you'd rather hang out with a friend than fuck women all night... I mean, than do women all night long. And now, now I'd say that to a guy... Oh, so you'd rather hang out I'm with... Not friends, no. First of all, I'm not friends with Dave Live. I am close he friends. Was your friend. hey, he was I your am friend. close friends. I, I don't form very good relationships with, with guys, For num number one. Number two, um, I'm not friends with Dave Live. I have absolutely no... I mean, we're not that type of friend. And I am, I'm close with Kume. Plus, of course, yeah, she's a hot female. It's, it's so much better when you hang out with a female that's hot, that's your friend. I mean, let's face Why? it, that, that's, that's more... Why? That's, put it like you're too stupid to understand that. I don't know what, I don't, I know what to, to say. Chick, if you're a friend to a hot chick... Yeah. You're obviously just using, you know, you're just using it as a waiting room. You're just waiting for one day that she gets so drunk, or she gets so stupid, or she gets. Why does everything so have to be about and you, could, you could swoop in. You could swoop in, like, uh, like. No, Joseph. no, no, no. I've already done all that. I've, I've had Sharon sex with 120. <laughs> 100, I've had sex. With, <laughs> shut up, say. I've, I've had sex with 120 women in my life. I've already done all that. I've already banged all the hot chicks. I've banged chicks hot as hot as Kame plenty of times. I've already Bay's done not, all that stuff. Bay's not hot. Oh, she's she's, not, she's pretty nice looking. She's a nice looking girl. Maybe not to you. Know, dude, you got you and I both have bigger breasts than her. Come on, all it is is a big like big stick with blonde hair, red lipstick, and a vagina. She's, come That's on, it. she's got a, she's got the most curvy butt. Come on, she's got a curvy. She's Jennifer like Lopez. Jennifer pounds. Lopez doesn't have boobs, but she's got the butt. Now now that nowadays a lot of people like the butt. Maybe you don't. Maybe you're one of these stupid boob guys that like the big jugs. I'm not myself. I'm face guy. Hold on, I'm a face man. I she has it. a beautiful face. No way. Yes, no she way. Did. Okay, Before, come, she spray paints her face. Her face isn't so pretty. How come your uh, significant Stupid. other that you're with, litigator, is kind of pissed every time you talk to her? Last uh, time I, I last time you were up, she was pretty hot because you were talking to Kamei. How come no, you hang no, no, around? No, 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 that's not true. How come you that's hang around Kamei? It, so it was when I was cammed up and everybody was asking me questions about this chick. And, and then she like, got mad. She I got said, mad. Well, be honest. And I said, she, she I said mad. she's nasty. She, I said uh, she's nasty. Yeah, that's what you told your wife, but that's not what you think. Dude, that's I can show your wife. Listen, I'm not going to do this, but I can show you messages where I where it was private messages. No one else was around. And I'm telling you, hey, she's nasty and she's a crack whore. And okay, then she should stop. Then what's the deal with you trying to hook her up with this real estate deal? Coming I'm not trying to. I oh, mean, yeah, you were trying to hook her up as a real estate agent in your area so you can get a little bang-bang there, weren't you, buddy? She's, if she's not so hot. What's, what was that all about, buddy? <laughs> and Come I said, on now. No. I watch Metal Cam. I know what's going on. You were trying to hook, her, uh, look at hook Scott, up as a real Scott, estate Scott, I don't want your granddaughter. Don't worry. I don't want your granddaughter. Uh, yeah, right. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not messing uh, with it. Dude, she uh, can literally be your granddaughter. You understand that, right? Hey, you know something? I'm not that mature, and she's pretty mature for age, so whatever. No, no, no. She's 20. She's barely 22. You're like 56, yes? No, I'm 54. You're 54. You could be, literally, you could be, there's a possibility you could be her granddaughter, her grandfather. She's she's old enough. That's all I can say. And and, and then and then you have. I'm still young enough so to hang out. Mar Mariana, say, Mariana's not. I think Mariana's not even 21. Well, you? Why are you? Why are you so infatuated with her? Why are you look, infatuated with anything why, on this? Why do you look up you, bitch? I, I point and laugh, and I'm just like, whoa, you're messed up in the head. What the yeah. hell is wrong with you? And then I'm like, <laughs> and then I'm, and then and then here's and here's Scott. Here's Scott saying, hey baby, like think about this. You're 54 years old. You're un you're underemployed, you don't have a pot to piss in, right? You spend the whole day on on battle cam. Let me ask you, what twenty two year old or twenty five year old or fuck it, what forty year old woman is going to be attracted to that? You know, sometimes there. You know, unfortunately, since you don't really realize it's not all about money and stuff. Sometimes, if someone gets to know you for the real you, they actually like to hang out you with you for that reason. I know that's not what not in your case because you're kind of a dick and a jerk. And the only sure. way you get, only way you get women is because you're you got money and you're a lawyer and you're no. that way. But when they actually really get to know you, they don't really like you that much. But, but here's, here's when the they thing. really get to know me, they actually like me. Dev, haven't you seen all the chicks hanging out on my channel all the time? Don't you see all these chicks hanging out on my channel? There's a reason for that, little gator. I don't need the, the money like you. The Hugh Hefner of Battle Cam, dude, but with his no, bunch no, no. of I'm not saying the Hugh Hugh out girls, dude. I'm not you saying I'm the Hugh Hefner. I'm just saying, yeah, I do have something about me that draws chicks, and you're a little jealous. 
<laughs> Why am I jealous? You have a you have, you have a bed curtain hanging on your on, on your back window. How am I jealous, dude? And you wear the same well, blue shirt. You know shawl. something? I had a designer condo that was one of the nicest condos around. And and yeah, I don't have. What you know. happened? Why, why the crash? Why the fall? What happened? I've explained that a thousand times on the site. If you don't, if you're too dumb to understand, it, we're not going to explain it. I'm not going to. I'm not going to explain it again. I've explained it a thousand times on the site. You guys are too dumb. Did you, get, to do it. did you get arrested? Is there a felony? Why can't you go back to what you were working on? What happened? Do you, you got do you caught have... hiding in Chuck E. Cheese ball pits. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, anyway, this is this. No, is... seriously, what happened to you? What happened? Why? Why the fall from grace? I. Uh... I don't feel like getting into a whole other thing tonight, Dave. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I, honestly, litigator. I'm gonna have to, but he—that's a huge story, and he's explained it on the, even the Dave live show. Oh, it's a long he, story. It's a long story. It's a long, very, very sad story about how he fell from grace. Um, and I bet you don't even remember what. I bet you don't even remember, Dave, because you've got it wrong. So you've even got wrong the basic stuff. So. Well, no, I'm just saying. Like, like people say that I got fired. Dave said that I got I, fired I from my job, back. and I never the got fired. Reason, I the, only reason why, job. the only reason why agencies won't give you your state license is because either you've committed a crime of moral turpitude, or oh, you. Oh come on! You don't know anything about medical. You, 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 you didn't get fired. Did they, did they say oh, oh. that you were uh, you agreed to retire, or was there an agreement reached where you left? Let me answer uh, litigator's question. For first of all, litigator, you're trying medical cases, and recently you talked about some of your medical cases, and you didn't even know anything about an IV in the arm of how that works. And oh, I said IV infiltration. Go yeah, ahead. You didn't, you didn't even know anything about that. And okay, I just, well, let me tell you something. So now you're going to explain a little bit. I knew about that case. Now a little bit. I knew about that case. That oh, case settled at the, the max. You had your turn. You had your turn. Let me so I didn't know much. I don't know much, but that. But I didn't know much, but it settled at two fifty. So let me finish what I'm saying. Sorry. You're going to say, do you know how medical <laughs> licenses work when you don't even know simple medical things? Yeah, yeah. I, know, I know how professional you know the difference between a, a certified... Hold on, let me finish talking. Let me finish talking. If you want to know the answer to this, but shut up and let me finish talking. Know? Do you know the difference between I a certified respiratory cool. therapist and a registered respiratory therapist? Why can't you get your license? Do you know the difference between a certified Why respiratory you therapist? Do you know the difference between well, a certified... Not get your license as I had friend. my license, stupid. Have it now? I had my license during the time I was trying to get a job. Listen to me and maybe you'll have learn something. You Listen once in your life. Answer Mr. the question. Litigator. You have your license now. No, I don't. I let it go, <laughs> you idiot, because I couldn't. Well, I didn't do the educational classes? No, because the certified respiratory therapist, they stopped hiring them, idiot. They only hired <laughs> registered respiratory therapists. No, I do it. Retrain. That takes quite a few years, buddy. And well, I, you've been sitting on here for quite a few years. As well. <laughs> and I, and I've explained the story of the fatigue. You've been sitting I, here. You've been I, sitting I, here for three years. years. You, you've been so sitting I, here for three I, years complaining I, about how bad your life is. But if you use that I, same, I, I'm, I'm, I'm done with this. We're not getting years, this. You would have gone out and got a damned retrained. Ladies and gentlemen, we're sorry, Scott. Rage quit, everybody. Scott, rage quit. We do apologize. We apologize, Scott. Rage quit. I, I want to. I do want to apologize to Scott Seven Seven Seven. I do apologize, and I'm sorry that um, you were made well, uncomfortable on my show.